All right, welcome back to Games for Everybody. I'm your host, Matt. Uh, this is going to be the last episode that I film today. Uh, I usually do it in threes. So let's go on to that giant structure that I saw in the distance. Ooh. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Click. Well, that's good. I do like going home. Can't believe I was that close. All right. So there's an elevator, just a large metal tube. It says R1. So let's go inside. Um, please select a location. So I can go to L2 or R2. Let's, let's, or sorry, L1 or R2. Let's go to L1 first. I don't really know the difference. Alright, L1. Alright, I'm at more hotland area. Oh, I'm back at that safe point near the lab. So, good shortcut. Uh, seeing such a strange lab in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Alright, let's go back in, and this time let's go to R2 since I haven't been there yet. So, back in the elevator. Select a location, R2. Alright, there's a little guy that looks like he's made of fire, like a tiny little imp. Let's talk to him. Heh. I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. Alright, that's good to know. Alright, so I'm at a, uh, looks like a, just a stopping point. There's one of those little tiny volcano men that was, uh, smiling. And then there's something that looks like, a like a dolphin wearing a pink dress, riding on a hot dog and just floating in the air. Let's talk to the weird dolphin thing first. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Yeah, there's a guard shack with snow on top and Sands is in there. So it's good to see Sands again, but let's talk to the volcano guy first. Toasty bun. That's all he says. Let's see what Sands has to say. Hey, buddy. What's up? Want to buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Why not? Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so I'm at more... There's more of those electronic lights. Uh, Alf has posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Aw, poor thing. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. Oh, Papyrus. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Oh, random encounter. Pyrope bounds towards you. Okay, so this thing looks like a coil of rope forming a funnel. At the uh, small end of the funnel are some shoes, and at the big end of the funnel is a giant flaming head with just a big grin on its face. So let's act. Uh, oh, I remember this one. I'm supposed to ask it to keep heating up. I crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter. Oh, and he's shooting, he's flinging bombs at me. Jeez. Pyro wants more heat. Let's heat up even more. And those weird, like, uh, heat wavies are floating across the screen. You crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Hot! Hotter! Oh. Oh, I have to weave in and out of the... The room is sweltering. Alright, I can spare him. Lost a little bit of health doing that. Alpha's updated status. LOL! Cool Skeleton 95! That's a joke, right? Cool Skeleton 95 updated status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are! Alright, so uh, I'm at a T intersection. I can keep going forward, or I can go to the side. Let's see what's at the side. Napstabluke22 has sent you a friend request. Accept it? Yeah, I like Napstabluke. It seems to have already rejected itself. Aw. So I'm at a platform, and there's like a little bag with a heart on it, like a little leather bag. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an apron. Yes, I'll take it. 
Alright, let's see what it does. Hmm, heals 1 HP every other turn. It's uh, armor. So let's use it. Awesome, so I got, I got a weapon that uh, makes items heal me more, and now I can heal HP every other turn. Sweet. Let's keep going the way I was going. Alright, so there's uh, a couple... Oh, getting a phone call. Hi, it's Dr. Alfie's. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? Yeah, there's more of those, like, those conveyors that I can walk on, and there are some switches uh, on the wall next to me. You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Click. All right, so let's go on the conveyor. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, dang, I got a phone call as soon as the third one was going to be pressed. Okay, now press the third one. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Oh, that's good to know. Well, there was a barrier made of lightning and now it's gone, so let's keep going. All right, now I'm at an area with like a heck ton of those vents that push you up and down, so this is going to be interesting. Alfie's updated status. That's the last try time I try to help with a puzzle, LMAO. Um, hey! I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm... I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Click. Alright. Oh, standing on... Standing on this thing in the middle makes the little vents switch, uh, switch places, so I have to time it just right. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I see, I just have to go back the way I came every now and then. Oof, this is gonna be rough. Alright, let's go down. Uh, let's go down again. Go to the left. Go up. Go up. Oh, this is rough. Okay. I don't like these puzzles. Oh, I think I got it. Yes! Alright, I can keep going. Yeah, just it's just some puzzles where I step on some things and it changes the position of the little things that bump me up. It's not important to the story. There's a save point. Alfie's updated status. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's a joke, right? Alright, save point. Alright, so before I do the save point, there's a little mouse hole again. It makes a squeaking noise. There's a table with a microwave on it. Let's see. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. Oh, it's not a microwave, it's a safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Alright, let's use the save point. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Alright, so normally I go save point to save point, but I'm only eight minutes in. I can go a little further. Let's keep going with this episode. Alpha's updated status. OMG, don't they get it? W ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc. Alpha's updated status. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Alright, more lava area. There's a couple smokestacks pumping something out. Oh. Hey, you! Stop! Alright, so those two big guys in armor I saw earlier just came up to me. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know. Sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? And now they're walking with me. Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? They're looking at me. Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Alright, so royal guards are attacking me. There's two of them. Uh, one is... Uh, they're both wearing the same armor and carrying the same kind of scimitar-type swords. But one has, um, like a shorter helmet with shorter horns coming out the top, and one has a tall, skinny helmet with looks like sort of wing-shaped horns coming out the sides. Uh, so let's see. So number one is the one with the short helmet, number two is the one with the long helmet. So let's talk to them. 
Uh, clean armor? Let's see, I can either clean armor or whisper to them. Let's clean its armor. I attempt to touch Royal Guard 1's armor. My hands slip off. Like, hands off the merch! And now they're doing a team attack on me. They're shooting uh, stars at me. Oh, that hit me. Alright, O1 stands guard. Uh, what can I... Uh, I'll whisper to number one. I tell RG01 to be honest with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. Oof. These team attacks are rough. I'm gonna have to actually heal eventually. O1 is polishing his face. Uh, let's whisper to number two. Let's see what he says. I tell RG2 my favorite secret. I won't tell. Oof. I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna heal. Um, crab apple. There we go. HP was maxed out. Like, prepare to die, right? Oh, jeez, these guys are rough. I remember I had to... Smells like a military zoo. Uh, let's whisper to number one again. But yeah, I, uh... I remember I had trouble getting through this when I played this the first time. It's kind of a rough fight. I tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. Maybe I'll try cleaning number two's armor next and see what happens. God, all my stuff is healing me like a crazy amount. That's so awesome. Oh! Clean number two's armor. I clean RG2's armor. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Getting warmer. Gotta keep cleaning that armor. Alright, this is... Oh, can't take it! Armor too hot! Oh, he took his armor off and he's got, like, big muscular body. Much better. Number one is, uh... Number one is sweating profusely. Uh, so let's talk to number one. I tell him to be honest with his feelings. I... I... Come on, we know what's really happening, you guys. Oh, are they not a wanting to attack me anymore? Okay, here we go. Number one is talking to number two right now. D dude, I can't... I can't take this anymore! Not like this! Like, O2, I like... I like... Like you, bro! The way you fight! The way you talk! I love doing team attacks with you! I love standing here with you! Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync! O2, I... Like... I want to stay like this forever. Let's see what number two says. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. <laughs> oh, one. Yeah, bro. Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. <laughs> oh, one and oh, two are looking at each other happily. Oh, I can spare them. Yay. Alright, they're gone, so let's keep, you know, let's save and let's keep going. I'm not gonna end the episode yet. That was nice. So I'm gonna go back to that save point over by the mouse hole. Alright, let's keep going. I can probably get to one more save point. Alpha's updated status. Oops, wait, how's the human doing? Alpha's updated status. Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job! Alright, now I'm in another just completely dark area. All I can see is my character. Oh, getting a phone call. Okay, I'm back. Uh, another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got things covered. Okay, now it looks like I'm being watched on TV by Metaton. Uh, Metaton is wearing a suit and holding little cards, and he's in front of a, a desk, kind of like a news anchor. There's a cityscape behind him, and there's a big TV screen, and I'm on TV. Uh, so, are you serious? Oh, yes! Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties! This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News! An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there, reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Uh, let's see, I'm walking around. 
There's a glass of water. Oh my! It's a completely nondescript glass of water! But anything can make a great story with enough spin! Report this one? Uh, let's keep looking. Let's see what's around me. There's a book. Oh no! That movie script! How'd that get there? It's a super juicy sneak preview of my latest guaranteed not to bomb film, Metaton the Movie 28, starring Metaton. I've heard that, like the other films, it consists mostly of a single four hour shot of rose petals showering on my reclining body. Ooh, but that's not confirmed. You wouldn't uh, spoil my movie for everyone with a promotional story, would you? Report this one? No, let's look more. Phew, that was close. You almost gave me a bunch of free advertisement. There's... it looks like a copy of the game Undertale? What? Ooh la la, this video game you found is dynamite! Though I don't make an appearance in it until three-fourths in. Wow, we're already three-fourths in. But I like that! Appearing from the heavens like mana, slaking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Ooh, that's Metaton! Uh, report this one. Now let's look more. There's a box. Oh my, it's a present, and it's addressed to you, darling. Aren't you just bursting with excitement? What could be inside? Well, no time like the present to find out. Report it. No, let's keep looking. There's that little annoying dog, that little white fluffy dog I keep seeing. <coughs> what a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report it. Uh, now let's keep looking. Oh, now there's a basketball. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs. For wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like moi without beautifying a few orbs. Report this. Uh, let's keep looking. And eh, I'm gonna report on that video game. Might as well. Yeah, this is a game where you should check everything twice. Report this? Yeah, I don't want to check everything twice. Attention viewers! Our correspondent has found a video game! This action-packed game is guaranteed to blow you away. Strange enemies, strange allies, attractive robots. Featuring up to six arbitrary dialogue choices at once! Correspondent, let's look inside the case! Oh, and there's it's filled with dynamite. Those red cylinders with burning fuses. Oh no, this game literally is dynamite. I guess they were right all along. Video games do cause violence. Or at least this one's about to. But don't get too excited. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Okay, so now everything fell away and it looks like every item is a bomb that I was in the room with, okay. Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That dog's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb! Even my words are... Oh, and his words fell out of the text box and exploded. Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes! Yeah, and there's a giant bomb, a uh, big pink bomb in the corner. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible! How disturbing! Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. What happened to number ten? Good luck, darling! Oh. N don't worry! I installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. Use the defuse option when the bomb is in the defuse zone. Now, go get him! Alright, so let's see, there's that little dog, let's defuse that. Uh, defuse the dog. Um, okay, so it... Ooh! Okay, I defused it. I'm not gonna go ahead and describe everything that's going on. Uh, just because I'm on a timer, so great job! Keep heading around the room! Try to go for the one in the bottom left next! Alright, let's see what the next thing is that I'm gonna defuse. Oh, it's the Undertale game. Defuse the bomb. Alright, I defused it. So basically, an object moves around in my uh, targeting reticle, and there's a, a certain zone where I can defuse the bomb. Metaton script! Defuse the script. Yes, I got it. I have one minute left. There's the the present. Oh, defuse the bomb. Yes, I got it. There's just that stupid glass of water, and I think the oh, there's the basketball. Oh, the glass of water. Let's see. 
Extremely agile glass of water. Oh. I didn't defuse it. Got it, defused it. I still have a few seconds left. Great job! There's only one left at the top! It's that basketball. Alright, let's defuse the basketball. Yes, got it! With 19 seconds to spare. Well done, darling! You've deactivated all of the bombs! If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes! Now it won't explode in two minutes! Instead, it'll explode in two seconds! Oh, thanks for that, Metaton. Goodbye, darling! Oh, let's get out of here. I can't move. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Ah! It seems the bomb isn't going off. That's because while you were monologuing, I... I f fix, um... I change? Oh no! You deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills! Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again! Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alfie, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. People are leaving your show, dude. Until next time, darling. Wow, we really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about that big dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just turn. Um, never mind. Later. Wait, can we turn Metaton off? Uh, let's keep going. Uh, there's no sound anymore. Let's see. Oh, there's a way that goes all the way to the right. Hopefully there's another save point coming up. Oh, there's the core again off in the distance. Oh. Um... I noticed you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and with your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So no worrying, okay? Just forget about it and smile. Click. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, there's an elevator that says L2. Um, I, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I can go to L3 now, but I'm going to go to L1 and save. We can go to L3 later. Alright, so now I'm back at the beginning of Hotland. The save point doesn't say anything new. So that's that episode. Uh, I had a fun time with that one. Um, I like Metaton, he's a fun character. So, talk to you guys later. Have have fun watching this.